In this tutorial, we'll see what you can do if you bought a domain name at GoDaddy some time ago, and maybe you have this free Go Central package that they want to offer you, but maybe you don't want to use that. Maybe you want to move to a web host and actually set up WordPress, but keep your domain name at GoDaddy. So what do you do? Well, in almost all of our tutorials these days, we use a different web host, like HostGator for the hosting part, and we use GoDaddy for the domain name part because they know all about domains, and these guys know all about hosting. It's also better for security, and if you ever want to leave one of these places in the future, it's easier to do so if you have them in separate locations. That's great. There's also more reasons listed in this article from WPMU Dev that I'll list in the comments below. So how do we do it? Well, this question is also the exact situation that Aracely is in. She mentioned this to us on our YouTube channel and said, in a few days, I need to renew all my products at GoDaddy. So my question is, what's going on here? Uh, can I start building my WordPress website right away or do I have to wait? So let's get this figured out for Aracely. She obviously is in this situation now. And for any of you guys who are in this same situation, the answer is no, you don't need to wait. And the process is this, all right? So you've already registered a domain name at GoDaddy. That's your first step, which is done. You can then just go ahead and set up that web hosting at a different web host like HostGator, which we of course recommend. Once you've set up the web hosting, you go back to GoDaddy and you connect the domain name to the hosting, which will take up to 72 hours to quote unquote propagate, although it's usually a lot less, at which point when you visit your domain name, you can actually see the new stuff you're building at HostGator. While you're waiting for that to connect, you can actually log into HostGator and install WordPress right here so that you have a new blog ready when people start visiting your domain name and of course so that you can start actually building the blog. So let's walk through how that would actually look for you. Once you get to HostGator, just click Get Started. Choose the Hatchling plan if this is your first time signing up for hosting and creating a WordPress website because it's the best for new users and the cheapest. Now in the HostGator customer portal, just click I already own this domain and we're gonna enter in that domain name you already got from GoDaddy. Make sure to pop in the extension to like .com, .org, .net. HostGator will create an account for you in the name of this domain, and then once you go to GoDaddy and connect it with HostGator, everything will be all set. Of course, we don't need to pay HostGator anything for this domain name. So scroll down, and now we're going to make sure our hatching plan is good. If you'd rather choose a different billing cycle for less time, like 6 months or 12 months, which I like doing when I first sign up, that's great, and I'll show you a coupon below that can save you a little bit more money. So pop in your username and security pin. All right, and then pop in your billing info just like you would at Apple, Airbnb, Amazon, anywhere else. Next, you're gonna come down and just uncheck additional services because you can add those later. We don't want you to spend any more than you have to. Now I got that coupon for you. Just type in big bonus. There you go, big bonus and click validate, which will save you 50%, which is a greater amount on your uh, hosting if you wanna get it for 12 months or six months or so on and so forth. So enjoy that. And thanks so much because that little coupon gives me credit from HostGator for recommending you to their services. So really appreciate it. All right, now you can come down and you just click the box here. And once you do that, we're all set to purchase our hosting. All right, so you got your domain name. Now we're gonna complete our hosting purchase and we just need to click checkout now and then we're gonna connect the two things. So this will complete your hosting purchase. Let us know if you have any questions below, but I think we're looking perfect. So we can just click checkout now. So you'll get the nice welcome to our family message from HostGator, after which you want to head to your email. You're going to open an email that looks like this one from sales at HostGator.com because in there, there's that pertinent information that you need to enter at GoDaddy. That would be your first name server and your second name server. So you can either write them down on a piece of paper or just remember them. And next, you want to head over to GoDaddy and find your domain name that you're going to use. So once you find it, just click DNS. Now scroll down and under name servers, click change. Where it says default, click there and choose custom. And now just write in those name servers that HostGator sent you. Copy, paste. Make sure you get the first name server in the upper box and the second name server in the lower box. All right, copy, paste, so we can't possibly mess it up. And of course we did manage to somehow. All right, so make sure there's no HTTP there or a slash. All right, your name servers will probably be different numbers than mine, but as long as they follow this structure, you're good to go and click save. 
All right, now it's going to start propagating and your domain name will start connecting to your hosting. You've already done everything you need to do though, so it's time to just go over to HostGator and install WordPress so that that part's ready. So we'll go back to your email and we're going to go into that second email from billing. All right, and the next step is just to click on the HostGator billing portal. Now we're going to log in with the credentials that they sent you in this billing email. All right, no big deal. Loading. And we're in. All right, so to install WordPress in the easiest way possible, just click on hosting. If this looks a little bit different for you, it's because HostGator is always improving their customer portal experience, but the tools will be exactly the same. Now just scroll down and click launch quick install. And if you perhaps clicked on get started with WordPress today, it'll be the same thing. All right, now we're just going to click WordPress right here, middle of the screen. And you just need to select that domain name for registration, which in our case was Brooklyn's Boy. All right, so that would be on the list here because we entered that in at HostGator right when we signed up. So you would just choose that domain name. All right, so imagine that this is the right one. I just have way too many, so we'll do this as an example. Leave the directory box blank and click Next. And we're not going to pay anyone to do it for us either. Of course not. Click Next. Now just enter in your basic title, user, which will be your WordPress username, your name, and your best email because they'll send you your WordPress login right there. Excellent work. Now we're just going to agree to the TSA, whatever that is, and you're going to click install right here, at which point HostGator will do all the difficult coding steps for you and install WordPress onto your new hosting any new domain name. That's where I'm going to leave you guys because at this point HostGator will email you saying your WordPress installation is complete and you can use that email to log in and get started. It'll look a little bit different from this one though. It'll actually look like this sort of an email right here. Congratulations and then you can just click and enter in the username and password and you'll be inside WordPress ready to go. All right so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Thanks so much to Aracely for asking the question that inspired this video. Please make sure to hit that subscribe and like button if that helped you at all, guys. That really makes a big difference for my tutorial and helps us reach more beginners who have the same problems that we all have as they make a blog or create a website. Make sure to use those links in the description for all the resources mentioned here. Thanks so much for watching because I really enjoyed making this for you guys, and I'll see you next time.